local club, bar, venue, art space, whatever you want to call it. Local owners, how you doing? It seems that the vast majority of you have forgotten the vital part that you play within the local music scene. So stop reading your Yelp reviews for a minute and listen up. I got some important stuff for you. I get it. You are in the business of making money, but just because you put a bunch of bands on a bill doesn't mean that you've done a great job. It's just not that easy. Making a reputation as a great place to see live music does take a bit more thought than that. And it actually goes back to the theory of what, in theory, you're supposed to be doing with that stage in your place. It seems that you've collectively forgotten the fact that not all local bands are the same. They don't play the same style of music. They all play differently, they all have different roots, and subsequently, they all have different audiences. Because of that, if you book four local bands, it doesn't necessarily mean you're gonna fill the place for the whole night. In fact, it usually means quite the opposite. Booking a folk act before a post-hardcore band and then some frat rock, it's really not gonna do you much good. And it actually does more damage to the reputation of your venue in terms of music fans. People just show up for the band they wanna see. As soon as they're done, they leave when they realize that the other bands have nothing to do with the one they were there for in the first place. There was a time when you could go to a show and see three or four bands and you might even get turned on to one of them big time because they were generally from the same style. Sure, that's great for us as music fans. So what's your advantage? Well, the longer we're there, the more we'll drink, the more that we'll eat your bar food, the more we'll talk about what great shows go on at your venue. In essence, you keep delivering similar bands, we're gonna wanna stick around and show up again because we know that's the type of venue you are. Also, this creates bonds within those bands that played well together. They get to know each other and this in turn strengthens the local music scene. It's cyclical. I get that you really only wanna bring in nationally touring acts because you think it's gonna make you more money at the door. But if you don't give as much love to the local bands and the people who support the local bands, the cycle breaks down and eventually you're gonna put yourself out of business. So all you have to do is take five minutes out of your day from restocking booze and listen to the links that those bands sent you and figure out who sounds similar. You don't need to be a music guru to figure it out. It doesn't have to be perfect, but if you get the sounds that kinda sound the same, you're gonna end up with a better show and happier people. And local promoters, you have absolutely no excuse for being lazy and putting together the most random bills known to man. Look beyond the money, consider the bands, stop being lazy, and do better at your self-appointed jobs. When it comes down to it, the survival of the local music scene anywhere in the world is as much on the venue owners as it is on the bands, so everyone needs to start working together better or we're all gonna lose. Hey!